Greetings friends, welcome to part 2 of Let's Make a Tower Defense. Alrighty, so now we're going to work on enemies and how to get our enemies from point A to point B. In our last video we built our map and we established all our little points which are tags. That will be the route that they follow to get to their destination. Alrighty, so first we're going to get ourselves an enemy. So I think we'll go gadgets, gameplay gear, and we'll just get a super basic, we'll go into blank puppet collection, and we'll get a basic puppet. So they're not going to be anything fancy at all. So, let's scope into our dude and go to their puppet logic. Then we're going to want to create something that'll make them follow this route. So what we're going to do is put down a nice microchip. Go into this microchip and we're going to put down or we won't go into there we're going to move as an outputs and we're going to put down a rocket rotator what's this for you ask a rocket rotator and then we'll take the arrow and point it so it's forward the rocket rotator what it does is make your it makes your enemies or it makes your particular puppet look in the direction they are moving because followers will make them move in the direction but they won't actually look where they're moving so quickly turn on your grid snap and we're going to make it so that this arrow is pointing forward. Alrighty. And we can make the rotation strength. Ah, we can leave that as it is actually. Alrighty. Then we're going to put down a follower. Go into your moves and outputs. Go to follower. And the follower is going to go to. You can you can see here we've got um, uh, we've got the speed, we've got the strength. We're going to set the strength to 100%. We're going to change the speed which is of course the move speed we're going to set that to let's make it three meters and then we're going to go enter tag we're going to press down 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 until we've got point a and that's the first one we want to go to alrighty so let's see what happens let's see if this works um, at the moment so they're going towards it ah then they start freaking out when they get there because nothing's happening afterwards to just show you what's cracking with um, the rocket rotator and why it's important, I'm going to go to point B and we're going to see what happens with um, if we don't have the rocket rotator. So I'm just going to quickly delete that. You don't have to do that. I'm just going to show you this point. You see they're walking towards it, but they're still looking in the original direction that they were looking. So that is why we have a rocket rotator. Because now look, if they go to point B, they're going to look at least in the direction of it as they're moving towards it. So that's what we want. But as it stands, they can't really get from point A to point B very nicely. They kind of go in this whole weird, weird path. So we're going to set this back to point A using up on the D-pad. And something we're actually also going to do is set the move speed to 1. Alrighty. Trust me on this. Just set that to 1 for now. Then they're going to move towards this thing. And then when they get there, we want them to move from, from point A to point B. So let us put down a trigger zone. And our trigger zone will be, we'll put it fairly central towards the middle of our puppet. We'll make it a bit smaller. Whoops, not the whole puppet, mind you. We'll just make the, uh, we'll just make the zone a bit smaller. If the, if, the gr if the grid snap is annoying you and it's annoying me right now, you can just turn it off again. So I'll make the trigger zone about so big. Then we shall go things to detect, tag. What tag are we going to detect? Well, point A, so that when they get to point A, it's going to say, okay, I've, I've found point A, we are now there. And it's going to go to point B. But to make this just a bit more structured and uh, make, it, make it make a bit more sense, we're going to put down a selector. And in output A, we're going to have it powering follow it. So in other words, the first thing it's going to do is go to point A. Then, when this trigger zone detects that they're at point A, it's going to make us do the second thing, or go to output B. And output B is just going to, we're going to clone the follower for point A. We're going to scope into it, and we're going to go point B. So in other words, the first thing this thing is going to do is go to point A. When it goes to point A, or when it's, it's near enough to point A that it gets triggered by the trigger zone, it's then going to activate part part two, or it's going to go the second sort of option, second output, 
and that's to go to point B. Let's see if it works. Okay, he's going, he's going, he's really slow. Ugh, goodness gracious. Here we are falling asleep. But there, now he goes off to point B. The reason, friends, that I made the speed 1 is because it's useful if you want to make a value slider. So, here's another pro tip. We're going to stick down a value slider, make this canvas a little bit bigger, maybe move this rotator out of the way. And we're going to go to our value slider and we're going to go minimum value, we can keep that at 0, maximum value, we can make it, let's say, 5. Then we're going to connect the value to the speed of this. And we're going to do it for both of these, actually. I'm going to do it for all of the following followers, all the next followers that come. And we're going to change the speed here. So let's set it to 2.5. I'm going to go in here. Ah. Oh, I don't know what's cracking me at the moment, actually. <laughs> all right, let me just delete this and see that this is all good. Ah, you see, I set it to 0 0.9. Set it to 1. And it will make it. 2.5. Hey. You see, this is also messed up now because I didn't set it in the beginning um, properly. So you set it to 1. Because the reason why you set it to 1, friends, and you connect it to speed. The reason why you set it to 1 in the beginning is because the value slider actually multiplies. I'm not too sure why it does that. But whatever the current value is, the original value of your, um, of your thing that it's connecting to, it will actually multiply it by this. So if it's got 1 there, it'll multiply it by 2.5, so it becomes 2.5. So there's a pro strat for you, friends. And this way, you can change the speed that they walk to everyone simultaneously without having to change the speed of like every single follower that you've got. In case you're like, man, my character's moving really, really slowly. So now I'm actually going to just, uh, you would have to go to every single follower and change the speed there. So this is a way that you can change their, their whole move speed in uh, all together, all at once. Alrighty, friends. So to get to point C and D and E and F and then the ultimate goal, we'll pretty much just carry on the way we have been. So let's do this together now. We'll do it pretty quick because we know what's cracking. So we're going to copy, we're going to copy this trigger zone. So when it gets to point B, press down there, then it'll go to, oh, we don't actually have a C yet. So we're going to go to selector and we're going to put in, oh, what do we get? A, B, C, D, E, F, and then the base. So that's six. And then the base, that's seven. I hope my math is correct. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good thing this isn't a maths tut, lol. Alrighty. So when we get to point B, it's going to take us to C. And let's go C. Make that here. Make it point C. And we'll continue just as we've been doing. Trigger zone. When we get to point C, then we're going to want our friend to then start going to point D. move this around make it a bit more visible and remember also to connect the value connect the value so that the speed is consistent each time then we're gonna when we get to point D then we're gonna want to go to point E so once we reach D then we're gonna be walking towards E connect the speed the value slider then when we get to E, we're going to want to go to point F. Alrighty, F. Then when we get to point F, whoops. When we get to point F, <laughs> then we're going to want to go to point. Oh, whoops! Look, I've made a mistake. I've I've gone a bit too fast. When we get to point. Let's just go back here. When we get to point D, we're going to want to go to... When we get to point D, we're going to want to go to point E. See, I've been working a bit too fast here. Point D, point D. Then when we get to point F... Oh, wait, sorry, E. Yo, wow. Guys, my alphabet is... is yo, it's not doing well at the moment. When we get to point E, we go to point F. Then when we get to point F... It is F, ne? Yeah. Then when we get to point F... We're going to want to go to point 
uh, what's it called? Enemy goal. There we go. So I got a, a little bit mixed up there, but let's just go over it again. So when we get to point, so first we're going to point A. When we get to point A, we're going to the point B. Then we're going to go, when we get to point B, we go to point C. When we get to point C, we go to point D. When we get to point D, we go to point E. When we get to point E, we go to point F. When we get to point F, we go to the enemy goal, or point G, if you will. Make sure to also connect this. And make sure when you connect it, you connect the selector to the power port, because that's saying, okay, this follower is now getting powered. And you connect the value slider to the speed input, the one on the left. Oops, you see? So I did it wrong there. I connected it to the power point by accident. Connect it to the speed. Let's see if it works. Whoops. Okay, probably probably shouldn't go play at the moment. Let's go right analog in R3 to see if it's working. Point A. Alrighty. Point B. Point C. Point D. Point E. Point F. Ah, and then when he gets to his final destination, he's kind of like, oh, what happens? Well, what we can do for now is just, oh, actually, we don't want that. We're going to copy this trigger zone for point F. And we're going to say when they get to point enemy goal, when they get to enemy goal, then our puppet is actually just going to get destroyed for now. We're going to mess around with things like giving lives and all that sort of stuff uh, in future videos. Alrighty, friends. So this is how we have an enemy. Alrighty. There they go. Off they go. Onward they go. Onward. He's going. He's going. He's getting through this tower. And there he goes. Alrighty, friends. So that's how we make an enemy follow a route. Alrighty, friends. So in our next video, what we're going to do is look over how to spawn waves of enemies and have different enemies with different health and, uh, you know, maybe different colors and or spawning completely different puppets altogether. We're going to look at those things in our next video. I hope this one was useful. Please leave those likes, comments and subscribes. If you enjoyed it, throw down a like. If you've got some questions, hit me up with a comment. And yeah, I hope we can get through this. It's going along pretty, pretty well at the moment. It's coming along quite nicely. And I can't wait to get stuck in with the next one. Thanks, friends. Hope you have a good one. Peace out. Thank mm -hmm. you.